Karega Mutahi and other senior Ministry of Education officials appeared before the Public Accounts Committee to respond to audit queries by the Controller and Auditor General. The interrogation lasted almost six hours but did not probe into the Free Primary Education Fund scam since the report on the same will not be ready until Friday. Beleaguered Karega nonetheless touched on the issue, noting that the FPE program is largely government sponsored. Donors don't fund capital development. Karega nonetheless say donors do help with other infrastructural programs. Karega further say that most of what has been said about donors withholding funds are misconceptions. In fact, the only activity USID is suspending is a proposed five-year, seven million dollar capacity building program. More audit queries, however, revealed other concerns, including the Ministry's authorization of advance payment of 86.5 million shillings for computers way before they were delivered. Exactly what date did you pay these two contractors the full amount? And which he explained that it was done to beat the expiry the of the contract, which was soon to expire. Whether you received that credit, not. It also emerged that recovering impress from past ministers was proving hard, funds which now stand at over 1.1 million shillings. Among those that have failed to remit the impress since their departure include Forestry and Wildlife Minister Noah Wekesa during his time at the helm in 2006 with about 240,000 shillings as outstanding impress. Other former education ministers with outstanding impress include Gideon Dambuki in 2002 with 150,000 shillings and Joseph Kamodo in 1992, yet to pay 81,000 shillings. Gishugu MP Martha Karua, however, urged Karega to use the Treasury PS powers to attach the impress on the salaries of defaulters. The PSC is expected to concentrate on the FP scandal later this week. And Karega retained a studious silence on Raila's calls to have him step aside, perhaps waiting until that session. Hussein Mohammed, Citizen TV.